Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be doing a follow-up to my last video where I took a look at UMenu 16 bits which if you did not catch that video and uh, if you haven't I'll have a uh, link at the top right of your screen right now to go ahead and check it out. But what we did in that video is we uh, took a look at this program manager replacement tool for Windows 3.1 that aimed to bring a lot of the functionality from the Windows 3.1 program manager into a very simple menu that you, that you could access from the top uh, left corner of your screen. And after posting that video, I actually got a, a comment by somebody saying, could you try this in Windows 10? And I've done this a couple of times with some 16-bit software. I did it with Microsoft Bob, I did it with Calmira and uh, Calmira XP. And I thought, yeah, we can go ahead and just try out a uh, UMenu 16 and see how it works. Now, unlike Microsoft Bob and Calmira, this UMenu 16 program is actually fairly new. It's actually only about 10 days old as of the time that I'm recording this video. So it's a very new program, but it, it was coded specifically for Windows 3X. So right now I have set up a Windows 10 32-bit computer here or a virtual machine. Uh, this is actually the same one that, that I used to install Bob and um, Calmira. So we're going to go ahead and I have the setup file here for UMenu16. Let's go ahead and just run it and, and see if we get the same result that we did with uh, Microsoft Bob and Calmira. So it comes up with a user account control dialog. We're just going to go ahead and click on yes. Now I, I have not enabled any compatibility settings for this program. This is just uh, running it. And it looks like, yeah, it just comes up set up. This will install UMenu16, that same dialog we got in Windows 3.1. We'll go ahead and click on yes. It comes up with that setup wizard. We'll go ahead and click on next. And we'll go ahead and install. Uh, yeah, just to see UMenu16, that's fine. Now this is something that I actually found interesting and this happened with uh, Calmira as well. But when we run it within Windows 10 here, you'll see that it says on this screen, setup will add the programs icon to the following start menu group. Now if you go back to my Windows 3.1 video on UMenu16, you'll see that when we get to this screen it says Program Manager Group or Program Group. So the installer is actually able to figure out that we're running on a version of Windows that has the Start menu and it's asking us or it's just saying it's going to put it into a Start menu group rather than in the Program Manager group. So. Uh, and you can also see that this whole thing is running under the NTVDM uh, virtual DOS machine process that uh, comes bundled with Windows 10 32 bits. So let's just go ahead and click on next and we'll click on install. It's going to be a super fast install process as it was on Windows 3.1 as well. So we'll go ahead and click on finish to exit the setup. Browsing in the C slash UMenu16 folder, you can see that right here is all the files that we got with this program. It's a very simple and lightweight program, as I said in that original video. So there's not really that many files in here. All we have is a license, the executable, and some dat files, and the uninstall file as well. So let's just go ahead and run UMenu16 under Windows 10 and, and, and see what it does. And check that out. It comes up just in that same uh, upper left-hand corner like it did in Windows 3.1, kind of as expected. We'll go ahead and open the menu and you can see that we now have a uh, menu that is more uh, Windows 10 looking, a Windows 10 context menu. And I'm already seeing something very similar to what Calmira did when we ran it on Windows 10. Now in Windows 3.1 when I ran UMenu16, uh, when you actually go here and, and mouse down to the accessories or any one of these uh, folders here, you would have to actually click your mouse on this uh, button before it, it would pop out with this menu here. But you'll see that under Windows 10 here, all I have to do is just mouse over it and it automatically pops out and does that fading animation, something that it doesn't do under Windows 3.1. So that's definitely uh, something that this is only going to do in Windows 10 here or, or in a newer Windows version. So definitely very cool. So let's see if we can actually launch some of these programs. I assume things like the terminal and the clock are probably not going to be found. So we, we run the clock, it's not, yeah, so it's not doing anything. So it does not appear to come up with a file not found or an error dialog box of any kind, which is very interesting. Now I know that we should still have control panel is the, is the same process that it was in Windows 3.1. So let's go ahead and run that. And yeah, so it, it, this will come up with the control panel. So assuming that it does that with all of the other programs that just happen to have the same executable name, 
that they did in Windows 3.1, you should be able to launch all of those programs. Control panel was control.exe in Windows 3.1. It's the same in Windows 10. Uh, I believe write is the same executable as well because yeah, write.exe is just WordPad. So yeah, that one works as well. Uh, notepad, yeah, so Notepad also still works. Uh, we'll go to the About box here, and it comes up with that same About box that works, you know, works perfectly. So yes, to answer that guy's question, does U Menu 16 bits work under Windows 10? Yes, it does, at least under the 32-bit version, because uh, Windows 10 and, and and pretty much every 64-bit edition of Windows, by default at least, is not able to run 16-bit applications, although there are some third-party workarounds, which we may actually be taking a look at in a, a future video, so stay tuned for that. But as for this video, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. So I, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to uh, get subscribed, turn on notifications, all that good stuff to just get notified whenever that I upload new videos on this channel, which I do every single week. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.